Hi guys. I made a little soup. This is a Portuguese soup. It is called Caldo Verde. And because I have some of the Beyond Sausages hanging around, I decided to make this. I made it once before and it's really good. If you, Of course, you don't need the sausages. You can just add extra spices, but basically it calls for a Portuguese sausage called linguiça. So I use the um, Beyond Sausage Spicy Italian. I did put a little extra um, paprika for the color because the, when you saute the linguiça in the oil, it makes it very red. And the Beyond Italian is kind of red, but it doesn't give as much color. So I put a little extra paprika in the recipe. And a little pinch of, just a little pinch of um, chipotle, ground chipotle, because that's very potent. But I, I like that, just that little bit of smoke, and you need a little bit of spice in this. And it has, besides the sausage, you, you saute the sausage in olive oil and then you reserve it. And you chop some onion and you cook that until it's translucent. And you chop some potato and you put that in with either water or veggie broth. I use some of my homemade um, chickless, <laughs> chickless bouillon paste. Um, and you cook the potatoes until they're tender and then you mash them and don't don't go in there with one of those um, you know handheld stick blenders because you know people just turn their potatoes into glue with those things just mash it with a regular old potato masher as much or as little as you want you can mash it up completely or leave some chunks in and then after it's mashed you um, put in a whole bunch of like as much kale as you can get in there or any other green that you like. I used um, some uh, Italian black kale also known as dinosaur kale and lacinato. And with it I baked, this is only the second batch of Portuguese cornbread I've, I've baked. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I should have looked it up before I uh, made this video. It's spelled B-R-O-A, so I'm assuming it's, I don't know, Broa? Bro? Bro? Bro bread. <laughs> I bet it's probably Broa. But it's, it's a cornbread, but it's made with yeast instead of baking powder. And it doesn't rise up very much. It's a blend of, of um, wheat flour and very finely ground cornmeal. The first batch I made wasn't finely ground enough. All I have is polenta, so I had to grind some more polenta up and make this other batch, and it's cooked at a very high heat. But it's really good, and it's traditionally served with caldo verde. So there you go, guys, a break from the pizza. See you guys later.